right. I am with um, Aaron and Emily with Collected Home. And today they're going to share with us some tips and hacks on packing and making a plan to get from one house to the next house. Well, we can just launch right into it. We have some packing tips. As soon as you know that you're going to um, be moving, make a plan because it's easier for you to write things down and check them off instead of kind of collect it all in your head when you've got a thousand other things going on and you're going to inevitably miss something. So write it down, list your to do's, organize your utilities when you need to call and start the new ones at the new house, forward your mail, gather the boxes, you know, make your little checklist to keep yourself organized. And then that way you will not be waking up in the middle of the night thinking, Oh my goodness, I need to get this done. One thing we were thinking of is you always move and then you're like, Oh, we don't have any food. So something you could do is schedule a grocery pickup. Um, for the timing of when you need new groceries. And then that way you can have things in your new home ready to go or just schedule a pizza delivery that night or go pick it up. And that way you don't have to think about what are we going to eat? I'm so hungry. I wish I had something. So the more you can prepare and make a plan, the better. One thing we were thinking about is to declutter before you move. Um, and not do it during, like after you move. So don't move things twice. Right, um, right. And we can talk a little bit about that later, but this is kind of key. You don't want to move things that you know that you're not going to want to keep for your new home. Um, and then lastly, to prepare yourself, think about what you can do yourself versus what you should hire out. If you want to have a home organizer come right when you're getting settled in, have that scheduled out so you're not thinking oh I need that now and then they can't come for two weeks um, that's something that we offer as well or just cleaning services so you can prepare painters things like that try to get those things scheduled ahead of time as soon as you know you're going to need them and then that way you can kind of have a plan because we love plans to just get prepared for the actual move those are great those are great that's a lot of um good <laughs> tips for pre you know before you even begin, like decide what you need to do. Yeah. Because I'm the person who wakes up in the middle of the night and goes, oh, and, you know, I forgot such and such. Yes. Um, I work I better I can, when there's a list. Yes. If I can write it down, then I can kind of mentally free that headspace and um, I don't have to worry about it as much. So I'm just a list maker. I know not everybody is a list maker, but if you can kind of get those things lined out, then feel like things are just going to go a little bit smoother for your move. We were also thinking, um, sometimes you forget about the stuff you're going to need at your new house. Like sometimes you don't think about like, Oh, I might need a new shower curtain or, you know, the extra stuff that you either have to leave at your house, your current house before you go to your new house, curtain rods and stuff like that. You, you might want to think about some of that stuff too, because sometimes it's not always there and you need it like the night of, Oh, I might right. need to think about curtains, temporary curtains or, you know, at least something to put over the window or yeah, you know, a shower curtain so I take a shower or whatever. So, okay. What about, okay. So now you've made your list. Mm -hmm. So then what, where, if you're like, okay, I want to maybe declutter a little bit before I move, where would I begin? You could hire you guys to come before too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We could come before and we could help you make a plan of you don't necessarily want to pack your stuff on like the rooms that they're in right now. Cause when you move stuff gets moved to different places, you know, you might have a dresser that works in your bedroom now, but it doesn't fit in the new house. So maybe it can go in the entryway and that can add special organization there. So you want to pack stuff on the rooms they're going to go into. Sometimes you're moving up to a bigger house. Sometimes you're moving down, downsizing to a smaller house. So things might not work in the same places. So when you're packing and you're organizing your boxes, think about what you're going, what rooms they're going to go into in the new house and pack those together. You know, if, if you don't have an office in your current house, but you're going to have an office in your new house, pack all your office supplies together so that you can put them in the office then you have a plan. And like you said, yes, we can come ahead of time and help you make a plan for where things are going to go in the new house and help you pack those things. We can come after and help you 
organized once you get settled in and help them everything find a new home then too. So either way works. And yeah. I think one of the key label or the key things is to label when um, you are packing your boxes. We found on Amazon these awesome like pre-printed, pre-color coded um, labels that are just stickers and you can just slap it on the side of your box and it says master bedroom, bathroom, office, bedroom number two, kitchen. And that makes it so easy because when you are unpacking, you probably are either having professional movers come or you're having friends help you and they're not gonna know exactly what each box where it needs to go. So some cool ideas would be to label the rooms in your new house, master, bedroom number two, that kind of thing, and then color code and label your boxes so they know exactly where you're gonna take it. I love that. I've seen those and I think those, is it the ones that are like on the roll? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they're genius. Yeah. Get them at Amazon, on Amazon, it's super, like, it's like 10 bucks yeah. for a big group of them. So, and we are saying the little dots, some people use little dots, but they're so small and they're hard to see on the boxes. So you have to put a bunch on. So that's why we like this tape because it was easy to see and it was bigger. So you could see it yeah. better. And little dots could get like pushed off. Yeah. And I think that helps too. Um, because you're having to make so many decisions. I mean, I'm the kind of person that I really, my husband, <laughs> has to pack when it's time to pack because I get so overwhelmed. I just throw my hands up in the air. And then yeah. when the movers are bringing things in, it's the same. I'm like, can I get you a drink and feed you? And that's yeah. really all I can do. So if, <laughs> you know, to cut down on decisions, you know, labeling boxes and labeling the rooms is a great idea. Another thing we were thinking is um, having boxes of essentials. When you're moving, sometimes you forget about stuff that's essential and that's important. So we were thinking pack a suitcase with a couple of days clothes and all of your medications, you know, toiletries, everything you need for the next couple of days. So you're not searching through boxes, trying to find all of your personal items that you need for the next couple of days. If your beds aren't going to be set up, you can, you know, pack bedding, suitcase, I mean, uh, sleeping bags air mattresses, all those type of things with you so that you can be ready to set up the bed, especially for kids, because that's hard when they're transitioning to a new space. You want them to be as comfortable as they can with their own stuff as quickly as they can. That's, um, that's a great tip. Yeah. Another and one is to, with you. Don't put it on the moving truck. Keep that. Yeah. Stuff keep it with you. Yeah. In your car. Another thing to keep with you is a laundry basket full of like paper goods, all paper plates, paper cups, paper towels, toilet paper, soap, hand soap, um, dish soap, um, your chargers, garbage yes. bags, cleaning supplies. Um, Cause sometimes you need stuff quickly and you can't go find it. So keep all of that with you in your car too, so that you can just take it into the new house, pop it somewhere and it, everybody can find what they need. That's a great idea. I love yeah. that one. Oh, and your coffee maker. If you drink coffee, put your coffee maker in there and your first coffee. thing so you're not searching all over the boxes for everything. So. And then you're angry the next morning yes. Yes. <laughs> or you have to run out and get some and you don't might not know where the local stuff is. So another thing is to take pictures of complicated setups like your computer. If it has lots of cords or the TV, the TVs are the hardest thing to set up with all their different cords. So take a picture of it. Put everything in a baggie when you take it apart and then put all of your little baggies of all your little cords all together. Just have a whole box of cords. Label them so you know this one goes to this CD, this one goes to the computer, this one goes to whatever you need so that you're not all searching for all of your cords later. And zip ties are a good thing too if you need to zip tie all your little cords together so they're not a big jumbled mess. They feel nice and neat on the way. Um, I think our last kind of like little tip is to have a toolkit that you keep with you. Yes. I love um, that. While you're packing, while you're unpacking, it's just kind of has all your go-to things. You could have like baggies, Sharpie markers, scissors, um, packing tape, masking tape, all the um, tape. all the tape, <laughs> just put all the tape in there. Um, labels, um, a screwdriver, 
sometimes those uh, Allen wrenches or the hex keys. Yes. For furniture, especially your Ikea stuff. You need right. one of those. Like your master list of all your rooms. So if it gets lost, then you have one to show everybody um, where everything is going when you get to your new house. And then a sticky note and pen so that you can write little notes. You can, you know, if you forget to make a master list, you can write down the little rooms real quickly and stick them on. Um, or you can use all of your tape that you brought with you. So <laughs> thank you girls for taking the time to share your wisdom and expertise with us. Of course. We're happy to help. Yes. Thanks for having us. 